ECS Service Connect makes it easy to set up a service mesh for service-to-service -service communication. Service Connect is an evolution of App Mesh, AWS App Mesh in particular, abstracting a lot of the configuration between App Mesh, Cloud Map, and a Elastic Load Balancer. And I'm gonna tell you, I, it was sad because I actually went through and learned how to use all these services and they sucked and then AWS made it better. So all that knowledge that I learned is useless, but this service is amazing and makes it super easy. So Service Connect will deploy a sidecar proxy container. It's probably Envoy, I can't remember, but I think it's Envoy. Uh, and you can use the service discovery name to easily talk to other services. So if it's not clear, I'm gonna get the pen tool out to get just closer here. But notice here, like imagine we have a WordPress server here and a WordPress server there. And the idea is that these two IP addresses map to these specific containers. And then you can just reference this address, okay, this address to talk to it. So like if I'm in this container, I'm logged into this one, I could curl this one at this address and it would hit that um, that container. So it's very useful. Uh, some of the features it has is service discovery, consistent approach to handle service to service communication, encrypts data in transit between services using TLS, telemetry data in the ECS console and CloudWatch, traffic health checks, automatic retries, really deploys. So a lot of functionality here. When you create your cluster, you define a service connects default. Um, so notice over here, and what that is doing is it's just creating a cloud map namespace. So if we go over to the cloud map service, we'll see that there. Uh, when you create your service, you configure it uh, for service connect. So here we see the service connect configuration. This is specifically for a Fargate service in CloudFormation for our service, but you can see that we are defining it to be in a specific namespace, that it's enabled. We're telling it its discovery name, its port name, which by the way, it says port name, but it's actually the container name. I'm not sure where they call it that. I really don't like that. Um, but yeah, there you go.